welcome to Coffee with Marcy. I'm here in Ridgewood at Marie Albert with Bob and Liz. Hello, guys. Welcome Good to morning. the show. Good welcome morning. to Coffee with Marcy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to have you guys on the show. Marie Albert is a furniture store in Ridgewood, New Jersey. And I myself have lots of furniture from the store, and I absolutely love it, outdoor furniture. And I can't wait to hear your story. So, Bob, first of all, why don't you tell us about yourself a little bit and how you got involved in the industry? Okay, I can do that. This, yeah. uh, it's a family business. The business has been around for the better part of 30 years or so. Mm. Um, my mom got into the furniture business as an antique dealer and was importing product from Europe, um, selling it really in the tri-state area. And then over the years, as the, uh, the import business sort of matured, she decided to get into manufacturing. Uh, my brother had graduated college at the same time and he needed a career, so he went into the furniture business. And collectively, they started to um, set up a manufacturing and, a, and sort of a retail component. Um, and then that took off um, quite a while back, and we've got a manufacturing facility in Indonesia. Wow. And all the products are designed by us and shipped to the U.S., sold through two retail stores, one here in Ridgewood, New Jersey, and the other one's in Southampton, New York. Oh. And uh, okay. we also sell all of our products, both indoor and outdoor. Yes. We focus on outdoor here, but we sell our, uh, our total product line um, national, so we sell it to other resellers. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, both in the area and all around the U.S. Wow, that's awesome. So, I want to talk about the store a little bit. Um, well, first of all, when how long ago did you open the store? Uh, September last year. The, Brand new store here in Ridgewood. Yep, the family. Great addition. I live in New Jersey. The family lives in Long Island. The, uh, a lot of our my mom's clientele in the Southampton store come from New Jersey. Interestingly oh, enough, yeah, uh, especially Bergen County. Okay, and we just over the years, I've lived here. My kids were born here. I've lived here for a long time. I live in Mawa, New Jersey, and uh, I said to my mom, "If you really want to do a retail thing, let's try to find some place in northern Bergen County." And mm -hmm. this facility was available. It's a great location. It is a great lo you know. location, a great space. It shows really well from the street. Yes, it does. It and does. it's a very unique spot. Exactly. Right so we'll be here as long as they let us stay. That's the goal. Yeah. Um, and yeah. if not, we'll continue to stay in the area. Okay. There's a lot of development going on in the area, so we have yeah. to see. Um, uh, but the store was open in September and was pretty well received. Mm. We uh, we had clients coming in as early as the first couple of weeks. Well, I will tell you, since then. I saw it opening. I saw, uh, you know, because you can see it from the street. And I got really excited because we actually just bought a new home recently, as you guys know and we needed the outdoor furniture. And um, I got in here as soon as you guys opened the door because I wanted to see the furniture. Yeah. Um, so how long has the store in the Hamptons been open? Uh, in a couple of different locations. It actually started in West Hampton. Okay. And just seemed like it progressively moved a little more east mm -hmm. to South Hampton, but the retail stores have been out there 25 years. And I'm sorry, how many stores do you have? Two. Just Here, the two, right? Okay. Yeah, there was three at one time. Yes. And then she sold one in Bridgehampton. They built a store okay. in Bridgehampton, and then they decided to go a little further east, so they sold that one and created one in South End. Okay, wonderful. Well, let's talk about the furniture here sure. in the store. Um, as I look around, you have outdoor and indoor furniture. Yes. So let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Everything you see here is custom designed by my brother. Um, I mean, really incredible. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> it's like we, the the retail side, we make product for the stores that we think will work in the environments that we're in here in New Jersey mm -hmm. and the, sort of the tri-state area. But he makes products for the whole U.S. So okay. we make an indoor line that we've decided in, in our stores to not focus as much on. We do that through B2B and through the website. And um, that is um, product that has sort of a restoration hardware feel mm -hmm. to it. We mm -hmm. actually make some products for them on oh, the manufacturing okay. side of the business. Yeah. Um, so we just felt that here in New Jersey, given the the amount of furniture stores, especially in Bergen County, yes. that we wanted to specialize in, in the patio garden. Mm -hmm. We felt that there was a real need for that. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't seem to be a lot of folks selling high-end garden, 
Right. And that's, that's, that's what, true. That's what we were focused on. And, and I think we were right. The results have been great. Yeah. People are really receiving the product well. And because we make it, we have a diversity of style. I think that's a little more unique than most. Yeah. And as I look around, you have, uh, well, most of the furniture is teak, teak. correct? Teak and resin, which and is resin. what we're sitting on right now. Right. But also, to Bob's point, we're able, since we're manufactured direct, we're able to pass those savings on to our customers, which is a great thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. With and the quality in it that you look at. With the quality, for. exactly. Right. Yeah, this is not a Pottery Barn level product. Um, so yeah. for folks that are looking for, you know, product for their homes that has a lasting value, mm -hmm. I think that's the that's sort of the space we're trying to fit into. Okay. And, well, first of all, Teak, you did, I don't know if people know how strong Teak is and how well it wears. So maybe you could talk about that because I sure. see... Um, resin and teak is what you mostly offer in the store, is that correct? Yeah, they, there are some uh, iron-based products we're okay. bringing into. Mm -hmm. We want to be a little careful with, with that because the teak, as you stated, is, is a product that's sort of a lifetime value product. Mm -hmm. um, teak is a rainforest product that has really an infinite life if it's taken care of mm. and make boats out of it. Mm -hmm. um, so. If you buy a teak product, you need to expect to keep it for a while. So yeah. make sure you like the style you pick. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the same with rattan, but rattan over time can age a little differently. Okay. It's not it's not quite a lifetime purchase. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to be, people that buy that are a little more style conscious, mm -hmm. as opposed to the teak being more of a value-based kind of thing. Okay. Um, but the teak product, you know, really has an indefinite type of life. It's taken care of. It's a, we're very... Uh, Cognizant, though, that because it is a natural product, everything that we do in our Indonesian factory is uh, sort of a green company. Good. Um, and I like to hear that. Yeah, yeah I know. We <laughs> are. And, uh, you know, all of, you know, we're very careful about everybody who works in the factory. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that people are at the proper ages. We're very compliant with making sure that our, that our labor attitudes are proper. Wonderful. It's um, great to hear that. Yeah. And, yeah. We, and there is some... Uh, teak is a is a harvested product now. Mm -hmm. It used to not be a few years oh, back. Oh, that's good to hear. Also, yeah, mm -hmm. and they, so they the Indonesian government has gotten smart about it, mm -hmm. uh, and they they you know every tree is registered when it's cut down, and we we we're compliant with all those laws to that's make sure wonderful. that we do it the right way. And you should talk about also Bob when the actual product comes in and how it's assembled. Yep. With all the dowels, it's yep. It's, it's just a, a, it's all custom assembled. Yeah. You oh no, you, you go ahead. <laughs> no, it's all it's all custom assembled. Well, it actually takes a little bit of work to put it together because yes. it's not screwed together. Yes. It's all it's all um, doweled. So when yes. you put it together, it's the dowels are meant to move a little bit mm. as opposed to screws locking everything down. Okay. Which actually doesn't let the product as as much as the product is meant to be brought into this environment, it's coming from a rainforest. Right. So wood okay. shifts. It expands. It yeah, shifts. There's right. nothing you can do about right. it. Right, right. The only way you can avoid it is to use veneers and we don't use any veneers. Okay. Um, so we use a dowel structure, which allows the product to kind of move and breathe. It's and almost like breathing. You know, like okay. wood yeah. breathe in and yeah. out, so the dowels enable yeah. that to happen. Let's try to be a little more flexible. It, it exposes the dowels, and some people ask about it. Mm. But mm -hmm. I think it gives it sort of a natural feel. Right. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. So if you don't see something in your store, since you do make it, mm -hmm. could they ask, could, could a customer have a design, bring it in, and you would be able to make that for them? Is if that offered? Yes, if they're patient. If they're patient, because it does take a while. <laughs> yes, it, takes about, it takes about four months. We we now a, a custom design piece, not something that we actually have on, in our repertoire of things that we already make. Mm -hmm. That would take a little bit longer, most yeah. likely. Then we'd have to go back and get a, an approved design back from Indonesia, okay. and then go forward from there. So it would take a, a tad more time than the four months. We yeah. ask people to have patience if they order something custom. right. Well, I see over there, there's a beautiful table uh, that they're just unwrapping, and you said that that was custom made. Yes. So did someone come in and ask you? No, that's uh, a that's more of a custom design for okay. us. Okay. Um, the Teak is such a beautiful product mm -hmm. that it has an application indoors, too. Mm. Um, and, but we you want to kind of manufacture it to, to look like an indoor product. Okay. So that means that, that the design is... is the woods are selected a little differently. The style is selected a little differently. Mm -hmm. It's it's sort of an indoor teak, contemporary type table. Okay. Um, so it's not a a traditional you know square or oblong table. Mm -hmm. It's got some it's got some movement. A lot of character. Yeah, yeah, a lot of character. It's designed to look that way. Right. It's not a table for everybody. Right. But somebody who sees that table is going to say that's what we've been looking right. for. Right. 
Right. It's a designer piece. That's yeah. It is so a designer piece. Because it's, it's also cut, um, it's sort of waves on both sides. On both right. Sides. So it's quite, um, it, it, it's almost like it's a, a one of a kind with kind. a lot of interest yes. and it's and the actual incredible. piece of wood is, is so beautiful on its own yes and then with this little wave it'll be quite the statement piece yes, yes. once we get it turned over it weighs a ton yeah. right <laughs> we just need to get some people need a little help. to help us <laughs> right mm -hmm. and you guys um just to touch on that you do offer delivery and um you turn that around pretty quickly also yes we do we usually deliver on saturdays mm -hmm. um and then there is a, a delivery charge, but we bring it, place it, yes. and make sure it's where you want it to be. So that's, um, I think that's a great. Yes, they were very lovely. Uh, they delivered to me. I wasn't sure where I wanted to put a piece. And they brought it upstairs. We did and, do it a few times. Yes. <laughs> and I said, well, once um, the other pieces come in, I may want to move that downstairs. And that happened. Yeah, so not a problem. I was grateful for that. Uh, people have to live with this stuff. Yeah. So you have to kind of be flexible. Yeah, we, but we, shipping for us, we've sent stuff to Albany. Uh-huh. Uh, down Jersey to Miami. Shore, down Jersey to Miami. Shore. We just made a delivery down um, to uh, Love Ladies. So, yeah, we'll go wherever you need us to go, pretty much if you're patient and you can wait for the delivery. Great. Yeah. So not only do you offer what's in the store, you have online, uh, Yes, with B2B, the website, you said. with the full line. Yes, both okay. Out, both patio and outdoor and the indoor line. Okay. So that would be something that we can support people on if they need it, if they call Liz, or, okay. and they're looking at a product online. Um, she can walk them through all the things they would need to know about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll talk to the lovely Liz now. She is uh, the manager of the store yes. and also the designer. Well, yes, if you, if you have a patio space that you've just uh, reinvented, upgraded or bought a brand new house and you need a little help figuring what you need to place where, I'm more than happy to come to your home and help you figure that out. Right. And that's great because I think a lot of times people have a little bit of a problem deciding. And they're, sometimes they're right. not sure if they should do square or right. round or should I do chairs that match or different chairs. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's always nice to have a Fabric colors. Yeah, fabric fabric colors, yes. colors. I have and another Plus, you view. know the inventory, so you may have an idea of what would fit the space nicely, exactly. and somebody's not even aware that that exists. You know, so you come yeah. up with ideas, and you throw it around, and then you find exactly what's going to make everybody happy. So, yeah. Unless yeah. I believe you were born in Richwood, right? I was born and raised in Richwood, yes. Oh. Love she knows the area well. I know the area. Jersey, born Jersey, and bred. Yes. Both of you. Yes. yes. <laughs> I live in Mawa as well. I just moved from Hohokus. I lived in Hohokus for years. Okay. I raised my children here. Yeah. So um, it's a wonderful, wonderful place yeah. to live. Wonderful community. Mm -hmm. And all the neighboring towns we were pulling from, uh, Whitecomb, Allendale, Franklin Lakes, uh, Hohokus, Ridgewood. Mm -hmm. So it's wonderful yep. to see Glenrock, um, all the neighboring uh, yes. towns come in and visit us um, and yeah. shop. Yeah, and yeah, the reception's been great. We've been happy with it. I'm yeah. really glad. It's, it's a beautiful that. product. You really should just stop in and see it. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's worth your time. Mm -hmm. We're at the old Ken uh, Smith uh, Auto Dealership. That's You can't miss us. The window expanse on Franklin Ave is beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. Driving through uh, Ridgewood, you can't miss you it. You can't miss it. No. So, We're one uh, of the few businesses left. What yeah. I want <laughs> to talk about is the parking. People are a little frustrated with the parking, and unfortunately, um, that can be somewhat of an issue. You can park in front. There's a little driveway on the side. Uh -huh. Please feel free to pull in. And if not, there's two uh, uh, parking spaces on the side in front of our double doors and in front of the back bay. So please feel free. There, are, there is parking, but come on in and park in front. No worries. Wonderful. And the other thing that I want to uh, point out is in the store, you have a lot of decorative items and even art. Mm -hmm. So you're not just furniture. So you can do the whole shebang, we right? Have, we so have some smalls. We have a wonderful artist uh, actually based out of West Hampton. His mm -hmm. name is Philip Michael. So we have a, a, a smattering of his beautiful paintings. Yes. That can really transform a room. Yeah. If you have a big, expansive wall space you need filled, uh, come on in and see this beautiful art. And you have some really interesting pieces made out of teak also, like mm -hmm. bowls. Wonderful bowls. Yes. That, um, we don't waste any of the teak, so they all have their own personality. They make wonderful hostess gifts. Uh, we also make wine holders out of the teak, so yeah. they're really yeah. interesting pieces that you won't see I anywhere love else. the green aspect. You know, yeah. the, you don't waste anything. Nope. No. And actually, teak's um, pretty expensive, yeah. even over there. Yeah. So the, the materials that we don't use, we 
we try to make do so. Okay. We even make dowels out of the supplies. Right. Yeah. And making dowels, we take it out of the piece parts. Right. So it's you got to be cognizant of it. You know, it's it's important. Yeah. Well, wonderful. And we are cutting down too much of the trees. You know. Yeah, I so know. So it's slowed down quite a bit. I'm actually glad that they don't have teak trees in China. Yeah. Because I think it would. I don't know if they would be as disciplined as the folks in Indonesia have been. Well, I, it's wonderful to hear yeah. that, and um, it just makes me love the company even more. So I just want to touch really quick on those that may be interested. You said you have a wholesale aspect mm -hmm. to the store. Mm -hmm. So you sell on a national basis mm -hmm. and can sell um, at the wholesale large, level. At yes. the wholesale level. Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, obviously, there's you know time needed if there's if it's a big order it, say you want benches and mm -hmm. you want 50 of them. So if you have a hotel, if you have a I hotel, mean, we can do all we your outdoor. The hotel again this week. Yeah. Right. We do hotel now. municipalities that want to upgrade their parks mm -hmm. or their sidewalks with benches, we can do all of that as well. And the other piece is designers. Um, mm -hmm. either indoor or outdoor. Right. Um, we we support uh, sale to the trade. Okay. So if designers come in, we'll work with them. And Wonderful. They'll get, they'll get designer pricing. And okay. designers understand what that means. Right. right, and that's important also. Yeah. I'm sure the designers are always looking for new stores, new inventory. Yes. And, um, and good, good prices. Good, good <laughs> prices. And, and, a, and a unique perspective on, on, uh, Absolutely. on, stuff, on, yeah. on stuff, which is nice. Yeah. I, don't I think, think one of the things that are unique about us is you don't, you're not going to find any of this product on the strip. Right, no. And, and that's good for some folks, and, mm -hmm. it's, and some folks want that. And yes. I think that was our goal, was to not... You know, not have our products be sold on Route 17. And, you know, as yeah. a matter of fact, we won't on a wholesale basis do that, yeah. right? Because of the retail aspect of what right, we do here. Right. Now we would sell this product to someone in California or yeah. Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. Right. But you're not likely to compete. see it down the street. You know, we won't compete with ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good idea. That's, yeah. a good that's idea. not going to happen. That's yeah. a good idea. And, and you got to manage it because we are vertically integrated that way, and you yeah. got to be thinking about things like that. Right. You know? Because well, we'll have people come in here who run regional stores saying, "Hey, I like your product. Would you sell it to me?" Yeah. And the answer is, yeah, maybe if you're 50 miles away. Right. <laughs> so, right. Absolutely. That's right. really smart. Yeah. Um, well, should we uh, take a little tour and show some of the items in the store? Sure. We can if you like. I would love to show some of the items. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you very talking much. Talking with you guys and hearing about Marie Albert. It's absolutely a beautiful store. I love the inventory. I love the story behind it. One last piece on that. Yes. Let me tell you where the name came from. Oh, I'd love to hear that. Yeah. The, well, we renamed the company. It used to be the original retail store was in, um, for folks who have ever been to the Hamptons, as you go out to West Hampton, there's an old mill mm. that's been there for 250 years. It's okay. a pretty big building. Uh -huh. It's an actual functioning mill with the water running underneath. Oh, wow. Um, it's an old brick structure, and it's still there. Uh, that's where the retail business started. Mm -hmm. um, and it was out there. So... Quite a while back, we were the family was sitting around and we were thinking about kind of refreshing the name of the brand a little bit. And we said, you know, we need another name. And I said, well, how about Marie Albert, which was the name of my grandfather and grandmother. Oh, I love it. So we it. thought that was kind of interesting. Really? It Thank was, you. It was Mary and Albert. So we uh, to, at that point, my, we were actually manufacturing country French furniture. Okay. And we just kind of called it Marie Albert. So it kind of gave a little bit of a flavor. I but, love that. But that's I'd love to hear came. a little history so there. Actually, I guess a nice the, story. It does go all the way back to even our grandparents. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting. That's huh? wonderful. We kept their spirit alive and everything. Yeah, I love yeah. to hear that. But before we branch out and take pictures, we should talk about the set we're sitting on now, which is a lovely resin set. It's a, a, a curved uh, sectional, which is beautiful with the pillows. It comes with this uh, fabulous round table mm -hmm. and two side tables as well. It's perfect for outdoor living. So you yes. expand your living from indoor to outdoor. And a second living room is available right here that we're sitting on. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's gorgeous Beautiful. and and all our cushions were made to live outdoors. Yes, yes. it's all it's not umbrella, but it's uh, we um, use something that's very it's a competitive brand. Competitive brand. Okay, uh, but it does, has the same characteristics yes. as the product. Very easily yeah. to, easy to clean and easy to dry out. Well, I can attest to that because I have, my couch has this. Correct. It's and doing well, I hope. Yes, it's doing great. <laughs> and uh, you can wipe off anything that gets on there, which is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And so far, so good. Yeah. Awesome. Just yeah. watch the red wine. Yeah, the red <laughs> wine. Yeah. No red wine allowed. No, only clear drinking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just want to show the store a little bit so everybody can get an idea of the beauty of your product and um, what you have to offer. So. Super. Thank you, Bob. Awesome. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, and Marcy. 
Bob, you want to take me to, around a little yep. bit, or Liz Absolutely. would? Okay, Liz, so. Why don't you do that? All right, Liz. Okay, so we offer, as we were talking before, is a resin set, which is beautiful, but yes. we also do the same kind of outdoor living um, in a sectional that is uh, cheap. So we call this the estate sectional. Yes. So it comes with all the cushions. You can, if, if you need to rearrange and have that side go a little longer, the side a little shorter, all these pieces are not connected. You just move things around and ship them to fit your space. Wonderful. And we make beautiful, um, I just want to show some of the work we, work we ship yes. on top of our table, so not just plain and I simple. love that. Look at the detail there. The detail That's, is beautiful. Yes. So we have the double coffee table in front here, and then we have the same version here in the side table. Yes. So you can do a whole complete set and just basically invite your guests over and start entertaining. And you're done. And you're done. Walk in, get it delivered in a week, and you're done. And you're done. Let's control <laughs> over here. We also do in the same estate uh, realm, we do those love seats, the kissing love seats, so they can sit Beautiful love seats. Fire, mm -hmm. They can sit. I know a lot of people are doing the outdoor fireplaces, so this is lovely to put um, so your guests can sit, move from a table to a seating. Mm -hmm. um, it's lovely. And again, most of our cushions are done in either the navy, typed in white, or the all white. Okay. Cushion. All right. Good and to know. Come over here. Um, one of our best sellers is our double extending table. This is actually table. the table I bought. I love this table. It's so gorgeous. It will extend out to 118 inches and easily seat 12. And then we do these beautiful um, umbrellas. We make them ourselves, all out of cheap, uh, with, with the same uh, fabric that is good for outdoor. Mm -hmm. And it, it expands the entire length of the table, so everyone is Oh, right. So covered. I see that. Yes, covered uh, from the sun. Right, that's so it's wonderful. Lovely. And then, if you like, you can take the extensions down. They fold under the table. Yes. Push it together, and it becomes a much smaller set. It's it's wonderful that you can play with it and get what you what you need. Yes. And then we do some indoor as well, uh, some uh, sectionals. Yes. And unfortunately, I'm having a delivery now. I'll take these off. Let me just show this over here. This beautiful couch here. There's one of the beautiful pieces of art. And um, I love the shelving there. I love that piece. I've always loved that piece. It's, I it's unfortunately for, have nowhere to put exactly. that. Exactly. It's an entertainment uh, set, uh, and this piece. this is and gorgeous. We also do beautiful uh, the linen with the nail heads. We do it in the, in the painted gray, uh, the French gray, or we also offer it in, in more of an oak coloration. Say that again, the, the different colors you offer? French gray and also like a... And oak. It's over I'm, here in this color. It's a little oh, darker. A oh. little more masculine if you're looking yeah, for something beautiful. a little more. So this is a little more feminine. Mm -hmm. And then we have also the darker shade of wood. Okay. And we do all the components that match um, the dresser, the tall 12 door dresser, right. and all side tables. So you can come in and get a full room furnished. And this is only a small offering of what we do for home, uh, indoor. Once the website is up and running, you'll see the, the expanse of what we have to offer for your home both indoor and out. So please come visit us. Right, right. Please come take a look for yourself. Yes, wonderful. I believe you guys will have the, the website up uh, as you're watching sure. this show. You guys can go straight to the website. And uh, what what is the, the website? It's going to be MarieAlbert.net. MarieAlbert.net. So easy enough. Yep. Easy enough. Yep. I'm going to do one more scan of the store because it's so beautiful. Um, I just love your stuff. And just tell us a little bit about that um, train down there. That, yeah, it's that a great piece, isn't it? Really awesome. That train, you may want to get a close-up of that Yeah, train. I'll do that. Yeah, that train is is a good example of some of the craftsmanship. I'll follow that, you yep. uh, towards well, the train. Let's take folks over and look at this train. It's worth the walk. Yes. It's a piece that you have to be committed to because it'll take up a little space. Um, it's made out of teeth. It sits on a track. It's actually a functional train, although I wouldn't actually play with it. Yeah. It's all hand carved. Look at that. And the detail on the thing is really, it's crazy. I almost don't want to sell it. You yeah. know? So, I know. it's beautiful. All the detail on this thing. Truly. I mean, just yeah, shows the chains, craftsmanship, like you chains. said. Yeah, it's tremendous. There's not too many places that that you can get work like this done any longer. Right. And, and uh, you have to go to places like Indonesia to do this, because they still 
take their carving craftsmanship really seriously. Yes. They'll sit there for hours and just carve pieces out. It's unbelievable. Which for certain beautiful. styles of our furniture, if you look at some of the mirrors over here, yes. all, all that's done by hand. They're, that's not a machine piece. And done by hand, which, woods, I mean, and it's, it's truly gorgeous. To, to um, sort of be pieces that you want to have for a while. Mm -hmm. These are not pieces that are uh, expendable. Some of the furniture these days, like in sort of Ikea, what they like to do is, you know, you have a look for a little while, then the look gets tired, you like to just change it. Right. These pieces yeah. are pieces that you probably want for a while. They're, that you're going to keep. And yeah. I just also want to point out this very cool table over here with the rattan pieces. Yeah. I mean, that's what... This is just a bit again, of a green table, if you think yeah. about it, because that's the, that's a teak stump. But yes. So what I we mean, did was make a cool. table out of it. It happens to be quite heavy, so it's not easy to move. But yeah. it is, uh, it's a beautiful piece, and every one of them is unique. If you take a look at the... Little side table oh, piece. Yeah. Oh, look at that. How if cute is that? Side, that's, that's also. So when we say we use all the pieces, we use all the pieces. We use all of the pieces. Yes, we do. And I think they make great designer pieces. Yes. So people yeah. can add a little little bit of diversity in their, in their home collection. Right, right. I think it's terrific. Well, Bob, Liz, thank you so much for coming thank on the too. show. It was come great having us. you guys. So and much. please come into Marie Albert. The store opened in September right here in Ridgewood, New Jersey. And there's also a store in the Hamptons. And check them out on their website, mariealbert.net. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you again. Bye-bye.